Cheers from Japan, I'm the Tokyo Toy Bastard, and uh, there's construction outside, and the rhythm reminded me a lot of this Evangelion song, a lot of dun 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 dun. So I thought it was appropriate to cover up the banging outside with the actual song. Hopefully I don't get flagged with a copyright uh, thingy majabi. Anyway, uh, it is a break time breakdown slash unboxing, because I got a box in uh, in the mail when I got home. It was waiting there for me. Let's check it out. As you can see, it's from Mandarake. And I often go to Mandarake on the weekends, but this time uh, I've actually ordered something from Mandarake. This is the first time I've actually ordered anything from Mandarake's website. I should do it more often because there's a lot of really cool stuff on there that are in the other locations, like uh, the Nagoya location or their warehouse, and I never get to go to those places. So, uh, yeah. The only thing is that if you see something on there, uh, it's something that they're selling in the store, unless it's the warehouse, and you might put in an order for it. You don't have to pay for it yet, but if it, if someone buys it, the, like the day that you put the order in, and they go back to look for it and it's gone, then, you know, that's the only thing. It's kind of a gamble, but you don't have to pay for it if it's not there. So, but, you know, it's worth a shot. Anyway, so inside here, I've got one item. Only one, unless they sent me something else for some reason. Uh, you know, the music might give you a hint. Also, my last like three videos have had a lot of uh, a certain animated series in it. So, uh, yeah, a lot, a lot less Dragon Ball, a lot more of something else. So let's see what's in here. Let's crack it open. Oh, that was crooked. That was a crooked cut. I'm having trouble. Totally messing up this box. Oh well. All right, here's the moment you've been waiting for. What's in the box? Paper. Wow, this is a really big box for a very small thing. <laughs> a lot of paper. A lot of paper, a little paperwork. Let me show you. Look, the box is empty. Wait, there's something in the bottom. That's a big box for this. What could it be? Can you tell? No? Let's cut it open. And I shall explain to you what I am holding in, in my hands. Uh, so, I will say that this was listed on their website for 600 yen. That is about $6 USD. It's even got the price tag. And here it is. Check it out. 600 yen. This is a vintage 1997 Rei Ayanami doll. And it's not just any Ray Ayanami doll. Let me see, uh, see if I can get this cracked all the way open here. This doll was manufactured by a company that some of you who collect Godzilla toys have probably heard of. That company is being... Really just want to show you the stamp on her foot. Where's the stamp on her foot? It's not. Oh my god, her head's backwards. I thought there was a stamp on her foot. Maybe it's only on the barefoot version. Well, anyway, this is a soft vinyl doll made by Marmot. Yes, Marmot, the same company that produces some really amazing Godzilla figures and Gamera figures. I wanted to show you a, a Marmot Godzilla soft vinyl toy or a Gamera one, and I was like, oh, I've got a Gamera, but I realized I traded it recently, so. I don't have any Marmot figures currently. I only have Bullmark, Marusan, and a lot of Bandai, so, and some Sun Guts. So, yeah. Well, anyway, check it out. This is, uh, it's like kind of Barbie size, but uh, it's not made out of like that kind of rubbery uh, PVC material or whatever that Barbie's made of. This is actually like soft vinyl, and she's got real hair, and, uh, She's got a bit of a bobbly head, bobbly bobbly, but the hair looks nice, like these originally were sold in a box and uh, I found a box version on the website too for 1200 but it was gone the, the next day when they went to look for it, so oh well, nice to have it loose, although I'm pretty sure it's going to be hard to stand this up without a figure stand, luckily I have a couple extra figure stands, so I'll add her to my vintage Evangelion collection, which is growing massively just this past month. 
and uh, yeah, so I'm really glad to have this in my collection now because I, the only reason I knew about this was because of this emo notebook, which I showed in my last video, um, which actually had this figure right there with all the information. So actually all these figures showcased there are all marmots. So there were a bunch of different variants of uh, her in different clothes. And I actually also found uh, one other version, but I don't think it's made by Marmot, but it's very similar looking, and I will do a comparison when that comes in. But I found a box version of her in the, uh, the schoolgirl uniform, and uh, I'm currently looking for Misato and Asuka, and uh, try to get them all displayed together. But it was cool to find her in the plug suit, and uh, yeah, I just I like the color of the hair. This reminds me a lot of the, uh, some of the early like Dragon Ball Bulma dolls, which are currently insanely priced. So, like, finding something like this for so cheap is definitely uh, a lot better than paying a uh, hundred times the price for a figure that's just ten years older. So, anyway, very nice to have this. It's a cool little figure. Um, you're gonna find some Marmot uh, Evangelion stuff on eBay, but people are gonna be asking a hundred plus dollars. So, I recommend to check um, Mandorake's website if you want to find some really cool and low price vintage Evangelion stuff, but I might beat you to it. We'll see. Anyway, <clears throat> I'll have some more boxes coming in soon. This whole month I've got a bunch of boxes coming in. Also, this is probably the last video that I'll be filming with my old camera. I had it charged all the way up today, so I got enough battery life to film this short under 10 minute video. And uh, my wife got her new phone in today, which means mine will probably be in uh, the next few days. So I'm really excited to make some new content with that. And uh, stick around, like, subscribe. And the next videos that I put out will be with a new camera, hopefully, and a lot more, uh, a lot more uh, information, not just an unboxing. All right, guys. See you next time. Make sure you watch these other videos.